What's up guys, John Killing here back with another video and this time we're going to be talking about drawing full comic page on my iPad using Procreate. So yeah, I'll be sharing the process and the tools I use on Procreate to draw these comic pages. So without further ado, let's jump into it. Cheers! So as I just mentioned, I use Procreate for most of my digital drawings and yeah, here is a storyboard I have where I like make some doodles for the pages and in this case we're going to be drawing these pages here so yeah it's a presentation of a character and also the context where she is in so yeah it's a fun page to draw and let me cut it out from here and we're going to copy it and then we go to a page template I'm using for this project and paste it in here there we go so let's resize this and here's where I start like refining the pencil doodle and adding some details too so when that is done I start my inking um, for this inking, you know, I used a dry ink brush with a little customized settings and you can find that on my previous video when I share like manga style drawing and yeah, having fun with the hatching and the details and in this page I'm not only presenting the character, one of the characters but I'm also presenting like the ship where they are like traveling and yeah all of the tubes and organic stuff around it so yeah I wanted to make a drawing where you understand where the ship is and and the situation where the characters are so yeah also having fun adding details as you you know me I'm sometimes I go crazy adding details. I try not to make that amount of zoom, but yeah, I was having so much fun, and I know it's not recommended to to do that much zoom when you are drawing digitally because it will take super long to fini finish a page, and you are adding details that maybe they are not going to be printed well, so. Yeah, it's kind of a recommendation for you. Don't do what I'm doing here. And <laughs> yeah, <laughs> for further pages, I'll be applying that advice. But yeah, it was hard to to avoid adding adding details. And well, it happens. And yeah, this page took me really long. I knew it will took me a long to draw but but it was fun. Then I jump into the third panel well, where I introduced the character this girl that it's with kind of a sleepy face and she has just woke up for that machine in the second panel that it was like making some noises and I'm having fun with the hair, adding details and hatching to make it like give it some volume, keep it interesting. For me, it's like super challenging to draw these characters because you have to come out with a good expression that that like speaks for the character and and tell you more about the storytelling and yeah, the story you're trying to to tell and sometimes in some panels the text are not even necessary if the expression of the character is good so I was trying to come up with an expression that that tells a little bit of the story too and now I am uh, doing the background with some with some textures and yeah I, I wanted to come with a gradient and I think it turned out good and if you're wondering what I'm not like doing the separation of the panels, um, it's because I'm 
I wanted to make the drawings like come really close so I can take a decision of doing a wide gap between the panels or maybe uh, other sort of division to frame the panels so yeah I am leaving that for the future so that's why I'm now I'm just doing a, a simple line to separate each panel so for this final panel the girl is like checking the device that was like calling and going to a big computer they have on the ship and uh, yeah I'm I'm struggling here with the pose with the face but it's part of the process is fun I don't w like to refine that much my pencil doodles so I keep the inking process interesting too but yeah sometimes it took longer you have to resize things and and make some adjustments but it's part of the fun thing of, of drawing digitally also you can make this process easier when you are resizing and yeah, redrawing stuff and yeah adding more and more details hatching to create volume and here is the final line work of the panels so you can see um, all the lines are placed and I'm planning on using this like texture like carbon texture for the background this one is the default procreate brush that you can create some gradients with pressure sensitivity so I create a new layer and start like painting giving some overall texture I'm I'm not going to do it that way I will do it panel by panel but I just want to show you the process so here's the first panel and I already did it and here's the gradient so you can see it start from black and go down from gray and in the bottom it's a little bit of more white but that one so on top of that I draw a, like a flat color of the of the spaceship the thing I, I wanted to enhance on the panel and in another layer I draw that the highlights and yeah to keep it interesting and add some details too so this is almost my process for all the panels I will add some little little lights additional lights in here so I go to a gray color and start painting on the layer adding some lights where it's needed and yeah I like working on separate layers it's handy and and it's a good way of of changing things in the future if it's needed and don't and you don't have to draw it over again all the things so yeah it's I know there's people that don't want to use layers I try to keep it simple not too much layers but maybe two layers for it three layers for each panel it's enough for me so here's the final page and yeah I add some gradients also in the other panels to make the character pop and make the light compositions interesting so her face in the final panel is white because the light is like shining on her all the screens and yeah let's call it done this is the page these are all my layers you can check them out let me just show you just the colors turning off all the all the inks this is how it looks like, like so yeah it's interesting and fun to to watch that setting and we're turning all the things back again so yeah this was a page on a comic I'm working on <laughs> hope you like it and all done on Procreate, default brushes, almost. So guys, let me know what you think about the process, if you like it, and 
if it was useful and you want me to share more of the process of the next pages with you here on YouTube, let me know what you think. Um, yeah, let's keep drawing. Stay safe. Remember to subscribe and do all that YouTube stuff and I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.